Uh, let's go on to verse 4 here. Um, I always thank my God for you uh, because of his grace given to you in Christ Jesus. For in him you have been enriched in every way with all kinds of speech and with all knowledge. God thus doing what? Confirming, Confirming our testimony. Here's a question. How do you define truth? And how does God confirm something to you? Have you ever thought this through? Tell me, how, how do you know if something sounds true? If it sounds true or if you know it's true. Either way. The more times you can confirm it, like, <clears throat> you tell me something, you Larry, right. tell me something. I'm not sure if that could be true, but the more I think about it, and then maybe I can talk to someone else, I will confirm. In my job, I interview people, and I'm usually lied to, but sometimes I'm told the truth. And so the more people I talk to, we call those references or collaterals, will confirm or deny what that person has said. So, like, in Scripture, you might tell me this is, you might teach us that something's true. And I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. But I can go to God's Word and confirm that, yeah, he's or he's, yeah, that is true, even though maybe I don't agree with it. Right. So the more sources, the more evidence. Okay. But your first question was, what is truth? Is that what you said? How do you, how do you determine truth? Truth. truth. How do you determine truth? Interesting thing. Um, right now in our culture, there is a big argument over a question. Is what we see on our TV media true? <laughs> okay. Probably maybe not. Yeah. Is what we read true? Is everything on the internet <laughs> well, Facebook is probably all right. <laughs> yeah. I I chimed in on I chimed in on somebody else's Facebook page that I haven't spoken to for several years. Um, the discussion is about the new Oklahoma license plates. Uh, some people think they're just absolutely atrocious. And I saw it, and I saw it, and I was like, you know, that's a scissor tail flycatcher, and I think that's actually pretty cool. But where I grew up, in, my, in the neighborhood that I grew up at, we had scissor tail flycatchers all over the place. Um, and I think they're a very pretty bird. Uh, but it's a, I explained it, hey, you know, that's our state bird. And it's like, oh, I didn't realize that. Which is, you know, oh, that's, I'll give you that much. Uh, not everybody has, I did, driving back from Midland and like a cardinal flew in front of the car. And it's like, what in, he's lost. Because <laughs> there was no trees. I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's like, what? Anyway, <laughs> so, so, you know, we take a look at these things and we have to decide what is true. The other thing that we have to decide is, is our mindset one that accepts this as truth? Uh, I was, where was I? Somewhere over the weekend, I picked up my phone and started looking through it. And I guess the president t 
tweeted something about his phone's getting tapped, right? Um, I haven't read it. I just think I saw the thing and it's like, really, you know, golf, you know, how, what? And, 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 you know, some of this is like, oh, this is, oh, no, we're not going to start this stupid fight. And it's, it's craziness going back and forth. But there's a battle right now for truth. What Paul is laying out is, is that as he would teach, as he would lay out the Old Testament, okay, here's something that would come up. He said God confirmed, or with God confirming, our testimony. In other words, how do we know what is true? There are some things, just like when I take a look at evidences. We're going to take a look at evidences a little bit this morning. Really small with creation, okay? Uh, the whole creation evolution debate is a idea of what is true. We are all out here looking for what is true. Um, there was a study done a number of couple couple years ago uh, about how the more finances that are involved with a grant, and the greater the presuppositions of the person doing the research, the greater the likelihood that the research is wrong. Say that that the, that the more finance, the, the more money that is involved in doing research. So like say, I'm gonna apply for a research grant for $6 million, and I'm gonna try to research whether or not this thing is true, okay? That if there's another grant coming up of $6 million, and I already have a presupposition that what I'm looking at is true or false, I'm more apt to slant my results to one, prove my agenda and to get more money <laughs> okay <clears throat> interesting thing this is what is because we all we read about all these you know the government spent six million dollars this, this last year researching whether or not cows should go to the bathroom standing up or laying down <laughs> I mean do what that's not the best yeah, I, we, yeah, you know, yeah, <laughs> you know, this, this, the more money that's involved, the more apt you are going to find something that'll get you more money. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, 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 anyway, it's, it's just, it's, it's just this idea that when you hear the truth, does God, how does God confirm it? Okay. There are a couple things that we, that at least I do when I come to something in scripture that I wrestle with, um, can I see this somewhere else in Scripture? Okay. Are there evidences here somewhere else? Um, the, the, and there are days, not many of them in my life, where God has said, this, Larry, is true. And I don't know how to describe that until you've spent you know and, and this comes with some prayer and fasting as well uh, there's been a passage in first corinthians here that i've really been wrestling through in the last three or four weeks we're even getting ready for this and i've not really got any good answers and so i'm just waiting and one of these days god will say okay this is what this means i get it um or he won't, and that's okay. Maybe I just need to take it at face value. Uh, but we, if you wrestle with stuff, here's the thing. If you wait on it, let God confirm it. He'll either confirm it through Scripture, he can confirm it through somebody else. Uh, I, I've had so many times where if something's brought up for me once, I'll kind of put my antenna up. Something's brought up to me twice, Oh, maybe that's kind of... If something's brought up to me three times in a week, I probably ought to think that through. Uh, when I have three different conversations with three different people about this subject, oh, hey, maybe that's something we ought to pay attention to, Larry. 
<laughs> uh, that's just kind of where I lean. Um, anyway, this whole thing here is about this is how this is working for them. 